Hello, this is Henry from Weisman Web. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to add a message to the top of your checkout. In case you need to tell someone you're, you have delayed, uh, the orders are being delayed for a week or any kind of important message you want someone to see before they order or during checkout. So I already have something in my cart, so I'm going to go to the checkout and see where I'm going to put it. So it's going to be here that we put it. Now, normally you would put a banner here that says that looks nice and says the message, uh, but you can also just put text, which is what we're going to do now uh, for simplicity. Uh, and when you click on checkout, it'll also show during the future steps of checkout after the cart right here. So let's go to the admin. Okay, let's log in. So you're going to go to Extensions, Modules, or sometimes it's an Extensions, Extensions, Modules, and you have to dig down a little bit differently. Uh, this may be OpenCart 2.3, but this should be the same for 3.0, and it should be similar to 1.5, uh, but not exactly the same. So um, now we're going to go to the HTML module. Now this is the HTML module itself. This is a child of the HTML module. So this is the home page that we have an HTML block. So we're going to create a new HTML block by editing the parent or the main HTML content module. So we're going to click Edit. Okay, and then we're going to give it a name. And we're going to put in a message. Oh, let's not put that there. Put that there. Let's make it big so it's easy to see. Let's do a header two. And please note. So let's just do that. Let's click enable so it works. Now, once you save this, it's not actually being put anywhere. Oh, let's correct the spelling. It's not actually being put anywhere. It's kind of in the database just sitting there. You actually have to go somewhere else to put it in, in the right spot. So I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm going to actually call this. Okay. So we're putting a message saying that orders will be delayed during a hurricane. So we're going to save this. Oh, it's not Sandy, though. Oops, I'm going back in time. Let's see. Hurricane. From uh, notice. Save. Now, we've saved it to, to here, and you can see it. It's another child now, so HTML content now has another child. Oh, it looks like I saved two. I can delete this one. I hit the back button, so I created a duplicate. Uh, now, let me just edit this and make sure it's right. Hurricane Irma notice. Good. So let's go back. And you'll notice it's a child of um, HTML contents. I created another HTML module, uh, a, a child, and it says delayed orders. So now we're going to take this delayed orders, and we're going to go to first, we're going to travel to uh, design. Layouts, and sometimes when you have long lists of things and you want to find it quick, you can do Control F in your browser, and you can search for it. So we're looking for checkout. There it is. So we're going to edit that. Control F in finding is good on the modules page as well because there's always a lot of modules. So now we're in the uh, layout for the checkout. So we're going to go ahead and add a new H the, the HTML module that we created. Uh, delayed orders, there it is. And we're going to put in content top, which will go at the top of the page. Content bottom would go at the bottom. And you don't want to use the left or right because that'll create a left or right column and you don't want that on the checkout. So just do top or bottom for the checkout. But you can use left and right uh, on the category pages and other pages that do have a left or right sidebar, depending on your design. Uh, so there's content top, HTML delayed orders. We're going to save this into the layout. OK. And now we're going to go to the front of the store and see what it looks like. OK, 
Okay, I already have something in my cart, so I'm going to go to the cart. And there it is, Hurricane Myrna notice, please note. So there it is, and if you check out further, it's also there. So this should definitely get the attention of people that are buying from your store in case there's something you have to tell them uh, before the order. Uh, like I said, you can put an image here to make it look better. And normally that would be a short but wide image uh, to fit this space nicely. And uh, I'm just going to do the back end again and show you in case you do want to add an image. If you create an image and you want to add it, I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go back to extensions, modules, and you're going to edit the HTML module that we created, delayed orders. And imagine that we're adding an image instead of this text. I'm not going to delete the text. I'm just going to move it down for simplicity just to show you how to add an image. Just click the picture button, um, image folders, and image dialog box. And you just choose an image, and it'll put it right in there. There it is. So I'm going to delete that for now. But you would just save the, the, save the module again, and that image would show. But this isn't the right image, so we're going to delete it. There we go. And uh, I did not save it, so I'm just going to back out of it. OK. That is how you add a message or a banner to your checkout pages uh, in order to tell the customer something important. Uh, that's it. If you need any web development in OpenCart, just uh, contact Henry at Weissman Web, and we can give you a quote for anything you need. And if you have any questions on this tutorial, if we can help in any way, just go ahead and get in touch. All right, thanks, and have a great day. Bye.